for you now. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are diving into another part of my Instagram series and we're gonna talk all about your feed aesthetic. If you're interested in all the tips and tricks that I have, first make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That lets you know every time I post a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. And like I said, I'm diving into Instagram, sharing all of my tips and tricks. I previously posted a video on how to grow your Instagram and how I grew over 100K from this year. So I'm an open book. I'm sharing everything with you guys and I know that you guys find these types of videos helpful So so make sure you stick around and anyways, let's go ahead and get started So I have my laptop right here. So if you see me glancing over here, I'm reading off of some of my notes So first thing that I want to know about Instagram aesthetics if you don't know what it is It's kind of like what your feed as a whole looks like to me It's not super important, but I personally think that it makes you stand out from everyone else especially if you are a a bigger creator and you have a lot of people viewing your profile for the very first time it makes a really great first impression especially if you're interested in getting brand campaigns and collabs and stuff like that I think it's super important but if you're a smaller creator the whole aesthetic is not as important I think it's probably better to prioritize having quality posts over obsessing over an aesthetic so for me every time I post a video I always keep three things in mind I talked about this in my previous video where I talked all about how to grow your Instagram does your post inspire educate or entertain and if it doesn't do any of those three things why are you posting? So this is kind of in regards to like filler posts. We all know those people, we all follow those people, maybe we've done it before, but you're scrolling through your feed and you see a picture of like palm trees with like no caption or like just a picture that doesn't really mean anything and it doesn't do any of those three things and it kind of is just a filler post to make that person's feed or aesthetic look a little bit more cohesive. I personally think it is super annoying if I'm scrolling through my feed and I just see a filler post and I constantly see that on my feed from that same person, I most likely will unfollow that person. So that is something that you wanna keep in mind for yourself by making sure you're always following those rules, you're always making sure that you're always bringing that value. If you guys want a little bit more like in-depth tips and tricks all about Instagram, some of the tips that I have and best practices and stuff like that, definitely check out my IG tips video because I talked a lot about best practices, type of content that you wanna be posting, how to secure brand campaigns, based off your content, all of that good stuff. So consider that video kind of like the prerequisite to this video. The next thing you wanna think about for aesthetic is what is your brand? For me, I love bright white photos. I like more minimalistic and I lean more towards like blues and purples, more so than like earthy tones. So you kinda of wanna think about like what your aesthetic is. If you wear a lot of like browns and whites and neutrals, maybe that is your branding. Maybe you like more fun pops of colors and you like a more like eclectic type of feed. So decide what you want your branding to be and kind of stick to that. I also follow a lot of similar pages and creators so that I can always pull inspo from and I'm also on Pinterest a lot so I pull a lot of my inspiration from there and kind of going off of that whenever I shoot photos I always want to make sure I know exactly what I want to post. I kind of had like a mood board or an idea of what type of stuff I want to post so that way when I am ready to create content I know exactly what type of photos I'm going to take and that way it's just so much more more efficient. I also get asked this a lot, but I usually will take one to two weeks worth of photos in like a day, especially if I'm going to do my makeup and all of that stuff. It's just so much more efficient to take all of my outfit pictures, all of my content that same day. And especially if you're going to do something like that, it's very helpful to know what type of content you're going to take. If you're going to do like beauty photos or outfit photos, maybe a mix of both just makes the whole process so much easier, especially as a growing creator. Sometimes a goal that you may have have is you want to be reposted by a brand. For example, I wanted to work with Patrick Ta for the longest time and they were one of my dream brands and I'm actually gonna be working with them. And if you wanna work with like Lululemon or Ritzia or whatever your dream brand is, go to their Instagram, see what their aesthetic is and you wanna create posts that will match their feed and aesthetic so it increases your chance of being reposted by them. Especially if you're a small creator, being reposted by a bigger brand is a great way to get exposure. It's it's a great way to get these brands to notice you and maybe eventually work into like a paid partnership with them or even like gifting. Yesterday, I posted this outfit photo from Abercrombie. So as you flip through the images, you can see that they're all slightly different. It's different angles. The posing's a little bit different. The outfit's a little bit different. I hate when I flip 
flip through a carousel post and it's like five of the same images that are like slightly different. Whenever I post a carousel post, I wanna make sure that all the images are different. So when I take pictures, I take a lot. I have tons of different angles. I zoom in for some of the shots. I get further away. I pose differently. Maybe if I'm wearing like a jacket, I'll do some outfit pictures without the jacket. I'll do sunglasses, some without. That way when you have the images and you flip through them, it's a lot more interesting to look at. Also another trick that I have is say you don't really have a whole lot of time and you just have a ton of images from the same angle. You can do like a closer crop on some of the images so it looks like some of them are zoomed in and some of them are further away. Some of the pictures look more interesting. Then I also posted this nail pic and this was actually taken the same day as I took my Abercrombie pictures and you can even see in the background like the garage in the background is the same garage but because I took it in a different area it looks like a completely different photo but still kind of cohesive so let's say I'm shooting content and I want to shoot two weeks worth of content say that's anywhere from like 10 to 14 photos I'm not gonna shoot 10 to 14 different locations for every single photo that's not super realistic so what you want to do is kind of vary it a little bit so for that Abercrombie picture I took the picture with the garage right here and then for the nail picture I kind of change the camera angle just slightly just so that the background's not exactly the same. There's so many different variations that you can do that I've done before so I'll go ahead and pop up some examples that I've done but again if you look on Pinterest and you kind of have a mood board it's so much easier to envision like what you want to do. Also what you can do is bring props that can kind of change up the vibe of an outfit. Say you're going to get coffee with a friend you can have a picture of you with your coffee and then a separate photo of like a product shot of the coffee maybe lay down some sunglasses and some props to kind of make it a post for a different day it's helpful to take multiple pictures in a similar location because when you post it on your feed it also makes it look a lot more cohesive you also want to make sure that you're changing up the location or background enough so that your feed doesn't look super monotone and like really repetitive you know an app that I love is the preview app it is super helpful because it helps you to plan out your feed these are pictures that I already had posted but it allows you to like rearrange the pictures it allows you to see like what it looks like if you were to post a selfie this day maybe an outfit picture that day and it just is really quick and easy to rearrange so that you could see like how your feed is going to look without actually posting to it especially if I'm going to take a lot of pictures in one day and I just have so many different options to choose from it's really helpful for me to kind of put together and plan out my feed so that I know what picture I'm posting certain days the only thing I I will say is it doesn't show reels so for the reels I always do like this black cover with text and that's just something I recently started doing I just feel like people like to see what the reel is going to be about before they even click on it and so just on my feed too it looks a lot more cleaner you know that the black text things are my reels but on the preview app those don't show so another tip that I have for building your Instagram aesthetic is to kind of edit your photos in the same way if you have an app that you use use that app for editing all of your photos. I personally prefer Lightroom. You guys probably know this by now, but I have my own Lightroom presets, and so I edit all of my photos with my presets, and that just makes it super easy because all of my pictures kind of have a similar vibe, and even if it's like different locations, different outfits, different time of day, different makeup looks, all of it kind of looks cohesive because it's edited in similar ways. And what I like about Lightroom too is you can copy and paste the same edit across hundreds of photos if you wanted to. So it just makes it super quick and easy, especially if I have a huge batch of pictures that I want to edit. I don't have to one by one go through and edit all of them. If you guys are interested in my Lightroom presets, I'll go ahead and have them linked down below. I have two different preset packs, the city pack and the basics pack. The basics pack is created more for like all of your needs it's good for all different lighting situations beauty picks outfit picks it's by far my favorite preset pack that I've done the city pack is actually optimized more for iPhone pictures so if you find that the basics pack is a little bit too like orangey or the colors just aren't right I think you'll really like the city pack if you want to add a little bit more spice to your editing these presets are a little bit moody and bluey so it is a little bit different than the basics pack but still pretty versatile and you can use it 
across iPhone and camera photos. So other apps that I really like is the Tezza app. That is a really quick and easy way to edit iPhone pictures. It's not good for editing camera photos. It just doesn't give you as much flexibility. I'm also used to Lightroom and Lightroom just allows you to do so much to your photos. So I think Tezza is just a little bit too limited for me. But if you shoot mainly on iPhone and you just want something super quick and easy to use, I really, really like the Tezza app. I also have a video all about how I edit my photos on my iPhone, not just using my Lightroom presets, but other apps that I like to use as well. So I'll go ahead and link that up in the eye if you're interested, but edit all your photos with the same app and use like the same type of like filters or presets and that way all of your photos have a really similar vibe when you post it your feed just looks so much more cohesive so those are all the tips that i have for feed aesthetic hope you guys found this video helpful i was thinking for my next video as part of this instagram series is i would take you guys behind the scenes with me maybe a typical day of like shooting content and editing prepping for all that let me know or if you have different ideas for what you want to see next in this little instagram series let me know down in the comments because I read every single comment. I take your suggestions very seriously. And of course, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see all of my tips and tricks in action. But that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.